Hi guys, just thought I'd give an update regarding the confusion over the Toronto, Ontario address that's on the notes page of the Pope Emeritus Benedict the Sixteenth regarding the apostolic letter. Um, a, an explanation was posted by Father Giuseppe six hours ago because it was causing all kinds of questions from the trolls who believe that we've set this whole thing up. This is the response, Ja tutti, which means hello everybody. This is Father Giuseppe Civella. Many have noticed that the letter on the notes page was sent from Toronto, Canada. I love it there, I have been six times. This is why. The notes section of the page had a problem copying the letter, and then in brackets he's got because it was a cut and paste from Mr. and Mrs. Marshall's version. So I had sent it to, uh, it looks like, Monsignor Giovanni in Toronto, who has access to this page. And he sent it from there with the Holy Father's permission. We thought it would be unnecessary to tell you, but I guess it needed some explanation. God bless you. So that's the explanation for the Toronto address there. And of course, uh, <laughs> it, uh, Sherry had nothing to do with it and uh, it's uh, put to death another attack from the ones who are hoping this, this news is not true. Moving right along, Joel has been busy uh, sending out information. We all have been today. The saints have been on it. Um, I'll read to you what Joel has sent to the Jesuits. Saint Ignatius. It's the Ignatian spirituality. Their headquarters all around the world, uh, beginning with Rome. Greetings to all at Ignatian Spirituality. I would like to bring to your attention that the Christ has returned. He was reborn to the earth on January 11th, 1944, into Sydney, Australia. His name today is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. He is the most royal man alive. His Holiness Roman Pontiff Emeritus Pope Benedict XVI has recognized Mr. Marshall as the returned Lord Jesus Christ. Roman Pontiff Emeritus Pope Benedict XVI came to this conclusion after conversing directly with Mr. Marshall starting on March the 11th, 2013. Please find the Roman Pontiff Emeritus Pope Benedict XVI's recent apostolic letter attached to this email where he addresses his heartfelt revelations on Mr. Marshall as the returned Christ. Also, here is a link to the Facebook site of Roman Pontiff Emeritus Pope Benedict XVI set up by his assistant, Father Giuseppe Cefello, in honour of his recent retirement. Roman Pontiff Emeritus Pope Benedict XVI speaks of his online meetings with Mr. Marshall and refers to him as Salvatore Mundi. That is Latin, of course, for Saviour of the World. And then there is the link to the page. Joel continues, Mr. Marshall has outlined a new 49-point modus operandi for the Vatican, entitled Vatican III. This document includes protocols to cure the meek of all diseases, rectifying the financial system so no one is without money, abolition of all immoral sex and child abuse, and immediately bringing to justice the perpetrators of such actions. His Holiness Roman Pontiff Emeritus Pope Benedict XVI has spent a short time discussing with newly elected Pope Francis the subject of Mr. Marshall as the return to Christ. Pope Francis has not accepted him. This is not a wise decision by Pope Francis, and his decision reflects poorly on the Jesuits. Mr. Marshall now seeks direct contact with Father Adolfo Nicholas. Please realize this is of the utmost importance. The Jesuits must act now and put into practice the 49 points penned by the Christ himself. Roman Pontiff Emeritus Pope Benedict XVI has the outline for Vatican III, should you wish to inquire with him directly. The Jesuit oath is to protect the meek and to serve the Lord Jesus Christ unto death. And the Christ is now calling you as Jesuits to action. Every minute the knowledge of his return is kept from the masses is another minute of innocent children dying from disease, starvation and senseless war. This can only be stopped with the announcement of the returned Lord Jesus Christ, who today is known as Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. You can make contact with Mr. Marshall through this email. I cannot stress enough the urgency and importance of this current situation. Please also find attached images of Mr. Marshall with the Most Holy Shroud of Turin. The image in the shroud is not the image of a 33-year-old Jesus, but is rather the image of the soul of Yahweh as he appears today as the Father. Kind regards, Joel, Australia. 
the Pope Francis has a Twitter site that uh, has been organised, I would say, by Archbishop George. Archbishop George, of course, spent uh, the week with Pope Benedict, as who is learning of us. He is our beloved friend and he is one of us. So he's the right-hand man, the prefect of the pontifical household, now with Pope Francis. And as I read to you yesterday, I think it was, that when I asked, was he disappointed about Pope Francis' reaction in the 45-minute only meeting that they had, he said that he thought that uh, he was getting used to Jesus <laughs> with an Australian accent after watching our videos and reading the documents. The Christ has already communicated with a direct email to uh, Pope Francis. He will have, by the time he's finished reading it, he will be in no doubt who it is that he is dealing with. As you know, the Christ does not mince words and the Christ let him know that if he did not come to terms and make the announcement that he would go down in history as the most ignorant, arrogant, what was the word? Asshole. Asshole the world has ever known. All from the Aussie with the all, all from the Aussie Christ. <laughs> so uh, it's all happening. I urge everybody to tweet the. Said it in Spanish. Yeah, he said it in Spanish. <laughs> I urge everybody to tweet the page of Pope Francis. It's um, Archbishop George who'll be getting the tweets. Be respectful, but be firm. All those who know of the Christ's return, uh, you have authority over Pope Francis. This is a man who just days ago, before he heard the news, was publicly quoted as saying there will be no peace without truth. Well, of course, the truth that sets all man free is the return of the Christ. Then the world will come to peace and we can all get about uh, bringing paradise onto the earth. Pope Benedict is the absolute hero. He is a lamb. He is a, an innocent man, pure in heart. And he has been devastated by everything that's been going on around him through the church, powerless to do anything. And as you heard from me reading his letter, he is ashamed that he did not do more. However, he's uh, being reinstated by the Christ as the Pope. It's all about Benedict, not about Francis. So Francis had better get, um, get with the program, otherwise he will go down, flaming down in history, as they <laughs> exactly what it, all in Spanish. Okay. That's the update for today. It's all very exciting. Uh, the Pontifical Household sent messages saying that they will be involved, of course, with the Holy Week that's going on. You know, it's all, it's all about us. But they will be involved with the Holy Week, so they'll be unable to answer any emails or messages until they get through the next 10 days or so. So I, we will be traveling to Rome at ASA. And we, yes, we, will, we inform them that we are making arrangements to go to Rome. So all good for the good and spread the news, spread that document, the link to the page. When you go listen to the announcement again, that is his announcement to the world. It was that apostolic letter is the announcement to the world. It's, um, he, he is uh, relying on the saints to get the news out there using all forms of electronic media, whichever way uh, we can to get the news out there and just bombard. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, exactly. The Pope, Pope Benedict was telling us, go with it. He's giving you blessing to go with it. Go and do it. So take it, use it, slam it every which way but loose. And uh, relentless twittering uh, to Pope Francis. He is, he, is, he is sitting on the truth. And that is a no-no. That is an absolute no-no. And uh, so, all very exciting. Go for it, guys. The, uh, you were born for times such as this. <laughs> okay, later, Gators. Bye. Well, oh, time. Oh, what? Okay. Another one? 144,000. Yeah, we have. Hmm. Another upload. Mm -hmm. Yep. 550 again.